Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Why am I singing? One, two, three, let's go! So, if the title of the video didn't clue you in, it has been six months of the year, of the year 2021. So, I thought we would do a mid-year freakout tag. So, I have not actually properly looked at the questions and over here I have all the books I have read for the first six months of the year so I thought we'd just go go through it all together I mean why not so it will be an edited non-edited version of version uh, so it will be a edited non-edited version of this tag because honestly who wants to see me non-edited I just babble on for absolutely no reason and I don't really say much of importance anyway so to keep it short and simple let's just get right into the video so I have the questions right here we'll just go through them one one by one Question number one. Best book you've read so far this year? Best book. I'm not sure. Honestly, I have a few favourites. I mean, I did quite enjoy Five Feet Apart. Um... See what else do we have? Shadow and Bone, the whole series really, just not the the one book, but the whole series of Shadow and Bone. What else? I mean, these are all my rereads, and obviously I've enjoyed them, but I'm gonna go for like new books, well, new to me books. Um, ooh, Legend Trilogy, really like that one too. Um, I did really enjoy Caraval series as well. So this, question number two, the best sequel you've read so far this year? So, I mean, those were all the first books. I want to go with, honestly, I think I'm going to go with The Evolution. I mean, it's very much a middle book so far, but there is a third one coming out and I'm hoping it will like rectify, well not rectify really, but you know, sum up the whole, whole trilogy. Um, also, the ending of this, I really did like the cliffhanger of this book. I mean, I was kind of expecting it, but also not really. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. I mean, I have all the other ones as well from the series of like the best book. Question number three. New release you haven't read yet, but want to. So I'm going to have to go with my TBR for this one then. Um, a new release uh, I want to read. I have a few, but I mean, if I go through them all, I'm just going to go through my next book haul. So I'm just going to show you one and it's Bad Choices by Lucy Vine. I love Lucy Vine's books. I mean, this is only her fourth book but so far her books have been so much fun <laughs> it's like it's, it's not really a rom-com kind of theme it's more like com com like comedy comedy <laughs> they're really funny books and um, if you haven't heard of her yet go check her out if you like the 
rom-com, com-com kind of books. Yes. So, question number four. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Okay, let's see which books I've pre-ordered. So we have The Tiny Treasures of Blue Bell Wood by Ali McNamara. And that's set to be released on the 27th of July, so soon. And we have With This Kiss by Carrie Hope Fletcher, which is set to be released on August 5th. Uh, let's see what more do we have oh yeah on the same day apparently we have <laughs> both Giovanna Fletcher's Walking on Sunshine and Lindsay Kelk's On a Night Like This and they are both set to be released on November 11th question number five biggest disappointment of the year so far I think maybe these two. So I have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus and There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. So both of these are like thriller books, uh, young adult thriller books and I mean this one had been very hyped up and I don't think this one had been very hyped up, but I've read Stephanie Perkins' previous books and I quite like those, so I was quite excited to pick this one up. However, both of them were slightly disappointing in... I mean, one of us is lying, I kind of guessed who was the killer from the start, and I just kind of continued reading to see all the last puzzle pieces that I mean I couldn't have guessed but I sort of did anyway so it's kind of like I expected more of it um because I'd heard it's very good I mean it's a good book but I, I did guess the ending a lot sooner than I would have liked so um yeah and in this one you find out who the killer is quite early on and then you sort of like well get away from him then uh, and they don't really do that they just kind of run straight on into the killer's hands sort of so to say um, so I guess these two, I mean, they're not bad books, but I was kind of disappointed in them anyway. Yeah. So question number six, biggest surprise of the year so far. Okay. Maybe this one, the mag <laughs> the Magpie Society One for Sorrow by Zoe Sugg and Amy McCullough. So, I didn't really expect much of this book. Uh, I mean, it wasn't the best book from cover to cover. And it definitely has uh, a lot missing in it. And some bits were... I mean, I guess it was more hyped up than was strictly necessary. Because uh, the book in itself is kind of... I mean, it, let's say it's, it was hyped up to be like somewhere up here. A like really detective-y sort of book. Like a mystery. <laughs> clever uh but it was 
more like down here somewhere so the I mean, it was very simple detective work. It wasn't that hard to figure out the mystery bits of it. Uh, I mean, it still kind of ends on a cliffhanger because, you know, there is a sequel coming. Whenever that will be, I don't know, but sometime, maybe. Um, so maybe we'll get some more answers. I don't know how many books there's supposed to be in this series as well, so that will be fun to find out maybe possibly so question and number seven favorite new author debut or new to you so i'm definitely going to have to go with let's let's hold up some books uh Marie Lu is definitely one. I really enjoyed the Legend series and I cannot wait to read more of Marie Lu's books. So that will be a challenge for next year, I think. <laughs> and let's see what else. I did really enjoy Stephanie Garver's Legendary series. Not Le... Le <laughs> I enjoy... I really enjoyed Stephanie Garber's Caraval series. Um, so I will be excited to read more of her books in the future. And uh, let's see. We cannot go without saying Lee Bardugo as well. I'm still waiting on the Six of Crows duology and whatever the third one's called. Um, but I'm very excited to continue on in the Grishaverse. Is that what it's called? Is that how you say it? Anyway, really like her, and I've also really been enjoying uh, Lainey Taylor's books. So the Smoke and Bone trilogy, yeah. Because Shadow and Bone and Smoke and Bone, it's too similar. <laughs> the same through that. But I've really enjoyed this series as well. I've really enjoyed Lainey Taylor's writing, so I think those are the ones, yeah, those are the new to me authors that I'm, I've been very excited about. No, new to me authors that I've really enjoyed and I'm excited to read more of. That's more correct. <laughs> Question and number eight. Newest fictional crush? Oh, I don't think I have one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to skip that one. So, question number nine. Newest favourite character? Okay. Well, that's just made it hard. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to skip that one as well. So not really sure about new crush or new favourite character. I mean, I've enjoyed loads of the characters, but I don't think I felt like taking that step up to being a bit obsessed about the character. I think I've only enjoyed them. So I don't think I can answer those two. Sorry. <laughs> so, question number 10. Book that made you cry. Ooh. Well, here's the thing. I cry quite easily. I mean, I cry because it's the end is near. Or I laugh until I cry. So... <laughs> now you know that about me. But I think... I mean... This one here, We Own the Sky by Luke Ornett. This was... This story... I mean, it's quite... It's, it's lovely. 
in a depressing way. Does that make sense? Uh, so it's it's a quite sad story, and I guess because it's like the the parents are trying to do everything for their dying child, and then we sort of go like back and forth and uh, seeing like the present and them thinking back on what happened, and it's I guess I would have to go with this one if. Any one of them made me like properly cry, it must have been this one. I mean, I think I cried for most of them, to be fair. But, um, like, properly cry and not just, oh no, it's finished. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. Uh, so, yeah, properly crying it was probably this one. Probably. I, I couldn't say for certain. So, question number 11. Book that made you happy. Ooh. I mean... Let's see... Maybe this one, The Danger Gang by Tom Fletcher, because it's just funny. It's a funny book. Um, I mean, it's, it's for children. I just bring out, it, it brought out my inner child. Yes, and it made me giggle a lot. Um... A book like that made me very emotional happy don't think there was one of those uh, so I'm gonna go with the book that just made me laugh <laughs> close enough so question number 12 most beautiful book you've bought or received so far this year I mean, there are quite a few good covers of the ones we've just been through, but I mean, I think I'm going to have to go with the Lunar Chronicle books because there's just something about them. It, 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 it intrigues me in a way. I mean, I have been looking at these books for years before I actually bought them, so I'm going to have to go with that. I mean, they're all, all the books have beautiful covers in their own way. I mean, I really like these covers for some reason. <laughs> it's just the simplicity of them. Um, yeah. Let's go with that one. So, question number 13. What books I need to read before the end of the year? Have you seen my TBR? <laughs> so, basically all the books on my TBR. <laughs> I mean, I'll leave a link to my recent TBR and you can have a look through and uh, pick any of the books you want or think I should read next. Basically any of the books. All the books. <laughs> I don't expect I'll read all the books because there's a hundred and something something on there and I mean I've read like 50 books in six months so that's fine so maybe like 50 more books but I don't think I'll read like a hundred more books. No. Mostly seeing as I don't really read in December I, anyway, so no. <laughs> yeah, so I did a lot of cop-outs for this, these questions. It's fine. So I shall leave all the questions down below and I shall also leave the links of the creators of this tag down below in the in the description and yeah I think that's it for me
for this time. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe. I mean, pick a TBR book for me to read. Yes, please. <laughs> so until next time, take care. Bye-bye.